I want to I want to ask you this. Why do you think other teams are better than us? Like Chartier's Valley, Older Dice, why are they better than we are? Well, first of all, success doesn't just come overnight. It takes work and it takes a strategy. Me and you have talked about from the beginning. These teams are practicing to beat other teams. They're working on their strategies. From the beginning, we've had to, and not me, not me, because I mean, I just came on at the beginning when we started playing games. But you and Coach Wright, you guys were so focused on having to teach these kids just how to play the game of basketball. Why do you think it's like that? I, I know the answer, but why do you think it's like that? I think it's like that because... These kids get to Carrick and they've never played basketball. Exactly. Before. Like we need exactly. To, we need to catch these kids yes. earlier. Yes. Like we need to be going into the elementary schools yes. and the middle schools. And we need to somehow, you know, even if we get a bus to be there yes. after high school called the hoop bus that tr- that transfers a them van. to a camp that, right. where we can teach them how to play basketball. Right. But just to give the listeners an idea, this is what we are dealing with with the kids at Carrick. Not everyone but there was a time where I tell a player to uh, – I'm not going to say their name, but yeah, don't I'll, do I'll make up a, a different name. Yeah. Hey, Benny, go in the game for Jimmy. Right. Benny just runs straight onto the floor. And I'm like, no, no, no. You have to go check in first. Right. You have to go kneel down in front of the table, and the ref has to bring you bring you in. They got to ring the buzzer and do the whole nine. Like, for him not to know that – you know that he's never played organized basketball before. It's not his fault either. Right. So, and then one one other scenario. Where we shoot a shot, the other team gets a rebound. Now they're fast breaking. And they had a kid who was leaking out, and he's under our basket. And I said, hey, Benny, get back. There's somebody behind you. He looked at me, looked at the kid, and said, that's not my man. I know. I remember that. And I'm like, it doesn't matter if you're, it's your man. It's right. transition defense. And then I'm like, right. I can't get mad at him. It's not his fault. It's he not. just never was taught how to play basketball. And some of this stuff that we're seeing in the games, I don't even realize that these kids don't know that yet. Yeah. Like the first time, it's like cut off the baseline. Kid's like, well, I don't know what that means. It's like, I can't, I could, what do you mean you don't know how to cut off the baseline? Or it's like, no. He, right. Nobody's taught him that. Right. Teach him how to cut off the base. Exactly. But now that we are starting to teach those things, and those things have been taught, and they're kind of putting it together, you know, in their head, they are improving. There is no doubt about that. Um, and before we get to their mentality, because I just want to hit on that before we kind of scourge on out of here, I I feel like. When it comes to, or just give you guys perspective. I'm sorry, I wanted to hit on this real quick. Just if you're not from the states, because I know Nate, you have a lot of people that like to listen from outside the country and stuff. If you're not from specifically Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Carrick High School is an inner city school, and what that means is it's funded along with several other high schools, multiple middle schools, and this, that, and the other. So we're not just a town where we have one high school, one middle school one elementary school, and so on and so forth. That's not how it works here. So you have to imagine the funding that gets split up. And that's where the, it's not the adults that are, um, that are, are, are suffering. It's the kids that are suffering. And it's, it's been too long. And we are here to break that cycle. We really are. We are going to, we've talked about this. We have a plan, but we're going to catch the kids, like you said, early. And if you're listening Seton LaSalle, all these other Catholic schools and this, that, and the other that like to take these kids from the inner city because they don't have a chance, we're coming for you. And we're taking our players back because too many times have good players left the city of Pittsburgh to play for some other school. And there you go right there. It's just a problem. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. I don't either. I don't blame them either.